I was just on, uh, uh, the reason I'm late, I was on K, K Talk Radio, Pat Walsh. Told him I was coming down here to Wonder Bar. Thought there might be 30 or 40 people like last time. Anyway, Pat helped advertise this too, so he, might, he could show up. I don't think he'll come all the way from Sacramento, but you never know who might show up later. Anyway, I'm Patrick Oakland, the New World Man. Um, I'm also off the album Single Quarter, I was kind of a world leader. Um, call me uh, Patty if you want, uh, Captain Patty of the uh, uh, Starfleet, Starship, Planet Earth. I've been captain for 50 years, so anybody wants to be captain of the Starship, let me know. I'll, I'll look over your app. So, uh, so um, let's see. Um, so uh, I go back to Connecticut. I was born in Connecticut, and uh, we'd like scaling the ice in the lake there to go out to the ocean. And you know you were you're getting out in the ocean a ways when uh, you run into the Russian icebreakers. So, yeah. so um, you don't want to go uh, walk down the street and get stopped by the cops because uh, the. You might have a you might get cardiac arrest. <laughs> you don't want to go. Uh, you go out jogging again and uh, get and and uh, get stopped by the cops because um, um, and break your marijuana cigarettes because it, it puts too much stress on your joints. Uh, so I, uh, I usually have a few notes with me. I forgot to get them out of my pocket and it's a little bit late now. So, uh, but um, I, I think I should be a more. Uh, a uh, thorough comedian, not have notes like I used to. I used to write out every joke and be reading and, and couldn't have eye contact, especially with the young ladies. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I, I, do, I do okay with the women nowadays. I might get a date once in a while, have women friends, you know. But uh, back in the day, I didn't do too well with the women. I was lucky if I got to take out the trash. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but I tell you, there was some good trash. <laughs> and um, so, I like, go by my neighbors and my, with my trash, and, and I say, uh, yeah, just, just some uh, white, ta- right, white trash, taking out some white trash. Uh, 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 that's a proper ethnic joke, I think. So. There's some ethnic jokes that aren't so proper, like, um, like um, how does uh, Bill Cosby ask for seasoning at the dinner table? He says, uh, please pass the sexual assault. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know. <laughs> um, so um, I, uh, there's a guy's, uh, Charlie Brown's decorating his front door for Christmas. And Lucy comes out and says, good wreath, Charlie Brown. And, uh, Charlie Brown uh, is in his underwear and spots the newspaper out front and you know, nobody's looking. So uh, he goes out and grabs it. Lucy pops out again and says, uh, good briefs, Charlie Brown. Just like, uh, our, our past president, who we don't, us Democrats today, we don't mention my name anymore, but uh, when he was in his underwear in the, in the White House, uh, he was commander in briefs. So, uh, you know, like, and when Biden's in his underwear in the White House, it's like, uh, it's really, they're really binding, you know? So, uh, it happens to me too, you know, you got to put the bell all the time. And now, Kamala Harris was, uh, was in her underwear in the White House. It's like, a dream come true. You know, so, I, I'm trying to video this and, and do this acting and, and comedy, and I, I, I don't do it so well all the time, but it sure is a lot of fun. So I, um, I, do, I do songwriting too, like I, I, I don't have it all worked out, but there's this one song. And, I am a man made of emotion, and I'm lost in the ocean of humanity. Not bad, huh? Yeah. There's this other one kind of. You know, Rush writes songs about me and stuff. But even Getty Lee does some of the songwriting. But with Getty Lee and Rush, back in '78, before a lot of you were born, uh, we're down here on the by the record store, and uh, and uh, and there's this woman on the on the Rush album, which is so pretty, you know, the model. So I fell in love with her, and I knew it was the lead singer Getty Lee. So I was in love with Getty Lee, and I was told everybody I was going to marry her. And finally, one of my friends said, "Patrick, Getty Lee's a guy." <laughs> so I, after a few months, you know, people. Uh, Stop teasing me about that, you know. I've, I've kind of always been the goat, you know. Pick out guys, you know. There's bullies, you know, but people pick out people the goat, you know. I've kind of got over that a little bit, you know. So you know, at least I eat my courage and weigh once in a while. You know? I, I was uh, 340 pounds at one point, then down to 315. I've lost 65 pounds, down to 250. So. Um, 
Are there 65 pounds, you know? Last week, I lost three pounds. A pound of heroin, a pound of coke, and a pound of crank. Have you seen it? <laughs> I think, you know, politics, drugs, religion, probably not too good to make jokes, but if they're light, if they're harmless, you know, just shoot me in the head, I'll be fine. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, like, 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 Religious jokes, like I've innocent one, my joke book, my first joke book, it's uh, how do they keep cool in heaven in the summer? Turn on the JC. <laughs> now Jesus, you know, he's understanding, but he doesn't particularly like making like bad jokes about him, but I have a bit, but formerly he had like a four by six by four cell waiting for me in heaven, you know? But now he's more understanding, it's like eight by 10 by six, you know? It's like, I'll have some room to move around, you know? <laughs> so, you know, Jesus, uh, I love Jesus and he's my Lord and everything, but you know, people always have different opinions about that, you know, like, you know, you run a, you run a guy off and maybe his name's Jesus, you know, same spelling, maybe Mexico, you know, but, you know, this Mexican guy explained to me, he said, well, Patrick, you know, I can understand how you have Jesus, you know, Almighty Lord and Savior and all that, he says, but to me, and that was 2,000 years ago, he said, well, Mexico, when you start having like 100 Jesuses, you know, often, and, and Three to four thousand years ago, you know, so there might be some relation to uh, our Jesus and your Jesus, you know. Just, uh, my, my priest just kind of uh, got to switch out on Sunday for comments like that, you know. So, but really, though, priests don't know. Orthodox priests anymore. They don't hate you anymore, like like an old bad priest or something, you know. And they don't, uh, the priests of my church don't do any kind of a bad fooling around to get sued for, you know, they're, they're honest, they're true, they, had, they might get mad a little bit, but you know, I shouldn't do that to them, you know, so, so the, there's a mama ant and a baby ant on a pile of coffee in the dumpster, and, uh, and uh, the baby ant wants to go for a walk, so the mama ant says, uh, okay, just uh, don't go off grounds, and uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a vegetable plant in the guy's backyard, and uh, and, um, and he uh, and he mows around it and waters it. He mows around it and waters it. Finally, the vegetable plant realized he was a human being. Uh, let's see. Um, so there's a, there's a Star Trek Enterprise, right? Second generation. And, uh, Lady Diana and uh, William Riker in the cargo bay making out. And the board is cutting the ship in half. So, uh, so uh, Captain McCarr comes over the intercom and says, Lay Diana, Lay Diana, reflect her status support. And she uh, looks in her pants and says, Shields holy. <laughs> See, that, in, in the Orthodox Church, you don't tell dirty jokes, but with crowds, you know, my brother, the, the prison speaker, he says, you know, if you don't tell a couple dirty jokes, then they don't trust you. So, so, sometimes I tell the so many dirty trucks that they open me a trust, you know, so, uh, <laughs> Dirty jokes, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, this is, I can't get too dirty because I've, I've kind of stepped away from that, but, you know, not, not, in, not in public anyway, but, so, um, um, I was in the Sacramento restroom the other, the other day, and, uh, you know, the park restroom, and I ran into this guy named William. I'm not sure if it was him or not, but, uh, William Shatnier. Now that joke, he's gonna sock me for it unless he dies first. And, and, I, and I owe him thousands for that joke, but you know, when I use someone in material, I, I wanna pay him, I'll pay him a little bit. But when Rush is me, I'm, I haven't seen dying, you know? And then there's still hundreds and millions of records with some of my songs like New Old Man, Today's Tom Sawyer, Cinderella Man. It is me, it's a little trumped up. It's just you know, what I wanna say, but, uh, but big money, uh, you know, it's like, some of it's like half truths, but I am not rush kid, you know, I, I don't like to do it for my own uh, two mile horn, but when I raise myself up, I, I raise the world up, you know, we're all, we're all stars, you know. You know, not everybody can be an a individual star like a Marilyn Monroe or, a, or a Clark Gable, exactly, because then it wouldn't mean as much, you know, but if you, if you want to be a star, if you want to be famous, you know, you just gotta work out a little bit, and, and maybe, uh, maybe someday somebody will remember you. <laughs> Like I used to do a roadside newspaper when I was a kid. And uh, well, three years old, you know, I was a genius. Can't find them anymore. If you can find them, that's great. But it's uh, uh, interesting stuff, you know, eight by 10. You know, so if you wanted some dirty jokes, I uh, 
see if I, I'm not in the habit of dirty jokes anymore because of the priest, you know, but uh, see, uh, uh, see uh, well, I'll think about it for a minute and tell other jokes, but uh, so, uh, let's see, uh, oh, I know, um, in my first edition, there was once a horse named Bathroom. Everybody loved to see Bathroom run. But a problem arose in his oasis because when he's going around the fourth corner, they say, uh, go, bathroom, go. So, I don't want to focus on dirty jokes too much because I'll, I'll, I'll freeze up and I won't, uh, won't, have, won't, be, won't be talking so, so thoroughly. So, um, I, I, I love to sing sometimes. I, I don't, don't have my words on okay. Treasure in the trash, treasure in the sea, treasure in the world right in front of you and me. Why is it then we must live in poverty? When was the last time you saw a happy bumblebee? There's more to that one, but... I have a longer song on, on YouTube, but if you type my name, Patrick Oland, in YouTube, oh, you can buy my joke books tonight if you want. I got, got them over here, but... Uh, Anywhere from one to fifteen dollars for the art book, but uh, what I'm saying is, uh, um, uh, what was it? What, what was it? What was it? Uh, okay, uh, you know how it's like, you know, you're talking along in a performance, all of a sudden there's this block, you know. And, well, what do you do about that? You know, so, so something I've, I've done recently is uh, go back to the past and pick out a story, like, like my mama, my mom used to like make us pie, you know, and. Uh, so she'd, uh, she'd get, the, get, get in the pie together, you know, and then she'd say, Patrick, you know, uh, go back, go to the boys' toilet and, and, and get, get the pea line, you know? And so I get the pea line and get my mom and she'd make pea line pie. <laughs> the pea line pie was worse. <laughs> so, uh, so then she'd make us cakes too sometimes, you know? And I, 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 got, I got along with some of that, you know. I, 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 make a, I make a bean cake nowadays. I don't have a mixer, but it's by hand. But uh, um, I, um, <clears throat> I have a, a birthday cakes, and so she'd make a cake, and then we get to lick the beaters and stuff, you know, which I have to compete for. I was in the middle of kids, so I didn't always get it. But uh, so uh, then when she's cleaning up, you know, and everything's cleaned up, you know, I never had com competition for looking out the kitchen sink. So, uh, so, uh, oh, I do have a GoFundMe too. Uh, uh, GoFundMe uh, custom made comp. I want to build a Davis Hospital. You know, a more popular one. Sutter's doing pretty well, but uh, I want to have a psych ward so you know I have somewhere to go. You know? if, you get, if, you get, if you get arrested on psych in Davis, go to Sacramento, San Francisco, they might even throw you out in the ocean, you know? And I made it back a few times. <laughs> Uh, 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 anyway, um, um, yeah, I used to love uh, swimming in the ocean. Uh, in Connecticut. You know, we, we, we run naked in the, in, in, in the, in the snow banks, you know? Yeah, uh, 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 so that Connecticut snow is cold, I tell you, you know? Uh, uh, so, uh, so, like, I, I'd be wandering through the neighborhood, and, like, it, they have these tunnels, you know, that go underground, and, go in the tunnels and, uh, and, uh, and you end up in a museum, you know, there's a TV and, and you get to act on the TV, you know, like, like nowadays I get on the TV live, just, just uh, I stand there, so I, I get on TV and I realize, you know, it's an insane asylum, cozy as a museum, so I kind of got it early. So I, I somehow contacted my father and he came into the asylum, a risky gave off at himself, he's a psychiatrist, and he, uh, he put me in his medical bag and walked out with me. So it's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so um, yeah, my dad was a psychiatrist, and, and uh, he taught me uh, everything doctor when I was like a three year old, four year old, you know, in the you know, the Vietnam War there, the roadside emergencies. And uh, I'm not a doctor by 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 uh, by trade, by uh, by certificate, but uh, it seems like I'm starting to remember everything in order to put somebody back together and save their life. You know? So. Uh, um, interesting. Yeah, my dad. Uh, my dad saw the Patrick. You know, in the old days, when there was a psychiatrist, and he had a son. There's no schools around. 
the psychiatrist would would teach his son how to be a doctor, you know. And, you know, we were in Davis, so we couldn't do that, but I thought it was interesting. It's like, um, so, um, so uh, if, I, if, I had t if I had my other phone out here, I could, I could cue up a song, but uh, it's all right. So, uh, oh, uh, if you type my name to YouTube, you get, my, you get 100 videos, Patrick Odeland. Type my name to Amazon, Amazon, get the books. So, on, 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 on YouTube, there's a, I didn't thank you. I didn't thank you. My voice is going hoarse, so it kind of makes it more fun. I didn't thank you. There was a reason why. I didn't thank you. But there was a reason why. I didn't thank you. Because I'm a clever guy. Um, um, when I take you to dinner tonight, the 20s and 100s will fly. It's not. It is because I love you. I think. Uh, is your, your judgment that I should shut it down or am I still going good? A couple more minutes, yeah. So, so you know, in the old days, you know, guys, you know, gonna, gonna have fun with, with have sex with the ladies like 20 minutes, right? But uh, now, you know, it's older guys, you know, two minutes is fine, you know, so come on up. <laughs> So, uh, well, uh, I thank you very much, and feel free to buy my books. They're a good price, uh, from $1 to $15. So, uh, thank you now.